I am. My name is David Istro, and uh, I have a short message for for Nigerian leaders. Uh, you know, there's a saying that says that any time that a madman realizes that he's mad, he or she is mad, then that begins the process of his or her healing. It is high time that our leaders or they begin to realize that. Inam de Kano, Sunday Yo and others are not the problem of Nigeria. If you do anything to Inam de Kano today, the problem of Nigeria will still continue. In fact, people will not get up the streets. Protests will still continue. In fact, IP hobbies, they will continue to ask for their freedom. They will continue to ask for their that nation that they've been asking for. So it's high time that the government begin to reason. Instead of focusing on the solution, instead of doing what is needful to get the country back on track, you guys, you're busy harassing people. You're busy just doing whatever you want to do. In Namde Kano, it's not the problem of Nigeria. Because I saw, I saw a headline that says a uh, high POB planning to attack Kuji prison for Inam de Kano to escape. And I, I don't know. This is 2021, and when you open your phone, when you go on internet, everything you see is a uh, 2023 election. 2023 election. They already talking about who, <laughs> who will be the president in 2023 in 2021 when there are a lot of things to focus on when there are a lot of things to handle as a country people who are suffering people who are crying the situation of the country is getting worse day after day and what the leadership of the country focus on is in Amdekano, who has once be a believer of the system but because of the way things were going, got tired and decided to do something about it. The decision that the leadership of the country would have made long time ago to look into the problem and the situation of the country and start doing the needful. You cannot just talk to people. You cannot just open your mouth and be saying whatever you want to do, you want to say without taking an action. It's obvious that most of this solution that this country needs is common sense. Create job for the youth. Start doing what you're supposed to do. How will a graduate, someone went to school for four years, five years, six years, graduated, and after graduation, there's no job, there's nothing. And they have been home for, for 10 years. <laughs> be home for many years and that person now decides to go into crazy stuff and you are harassing them what have you done what are you doing to make sure that that guy that, 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 that this particular this person has a great future you can't just give them access to education then after education there's nothing there's no moving forward their life just stands there is it everybody that is destined to go for business because i know some people will come and say uh -uh, are there are not people that are passing through the same thing and they went into business and they are fine hey not everybody is destined to go into business the reason why we go to school is for us hey after school we gain all the knowledge then the next step is to work with that certificate and i quickly want to share a story with you a story of a king and a special child there was a prophecy that a child that a great king would be born by a special woman the time the prophecy came to pass the child was born and there was a reigning king in that nation as, as at the time that the child was born the reigning king began to worry and became jealous and greedy of a child that it's not even three years old. It's not yet three years old. Out of 
the king's greediness, he ordered that every child from the hedge to down should be killed. He cut their life short. But to God be the glory, when all his attempt to take this special child out, all the king's efforts failed. He took out a lot of children at that time, wasted their life and destiny. He died trying to be the one on the throne forever. The special child grew and the prophecy over his life was not only established but also manifested. What is the assurance God has given you? What are the prophecy hovering over your head that is yet to manifest? Know something, know something today that if it is or was God talking to you, no man or woman can stop it. They can delay the process, but they cannot stop <laughs> the process, nor stop God's plan. Stay focused and keep moving with what we, we, we keep moving with that which you set your mind to do, and the sky will be the beginning. No man or woman can stop God's glory in your life. Surely you might have passed through the fire or oceans. But the one who sent you will be right there with you to keep you in perfect peace. When leaders live a greedy life, the end is not always pleasant one. Greediness only leads to destruction. And the one that you made cry today will laugh at you. So this is a wake up call to Nigeria leaders. Whatever you do today, you're planting a seed. And surely there's always a reward. There's always a, when you plant a seed, there, is, there will always be fruit that comes out of it. Sometimes I wonder if these leaders, if they think of what will happen when they are gone. What will people rem will remember you for? What legacy are you leaving behind? Accept that there's a problem. And after you've accepted, you know the problem, then you tackle the problem. Don't stop beating around the bush. As if you don't know what is going on. The truth is you have failed. You fail the system. You fail the people. When you keep blaming, then you do nothing. You blame people to cover up your own boo-boo. No, it doesn't work that way. This is six years in office. And there should be a lot of things, a lot of things that have changed in the country. What can people point out that have changed? What can people hold on to? that your governments have done or they are doing are people seeing it 